Right, so we know how to build a front end. Let's talk about um, the server side transformation service that we're using. Now for this, uh, for this project, for this demo, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the image transformation services available in the Google App Engine, and I'm just providing a very simple Grails wrapper to the services. So if you go to the Google App Engine website, you'll see that um, there are a whole bunch of services provided by it. Um, all I've done is I just created a wrapper around the images service. So if I go to the um, Google App Engine for Java website and I go to the images, you see kind of um, the image transformation service that has been provided by Google. Now what this is, is it's just a whole bunch of methods that allow you to uh, resize, rotate, and transform images. You know, you can crop them, you can flip them, and you can even apply this thing called I'm Feeling Lucky, which uh, provides an enhancement to the color and contrast and all this other stuff to it. That's great. So let me show you what the service does. Let me just grab this image, copy image location, and let me just go to my transformation service. So in my transformation service, the very, very simple example is I just provide a URL. Great, it just takes my image and it returns it to me. So let's me add um, a transformation to it. So one of the things I can do is I can say, I want my image to have a height of 60 and a width of 60. Now what this does is it just bounds it based on whichever is um, smaller, I believe. So in here you can see that my image has been transformed. I can add in um, other services. So let's say I wanna rotate this 270 degrees and I want to make it, uh, I'm feeling lucky. So I believe it's lucky equals true and rotate. And as you can see, um, the image has changed based on that. That's great. So how does the code look like in Grails? Um, if you remember correctly from before, uh, we created a transformation service. So let me show you how the code of the transformation service looks like. In here, what I've done is um, I have created what in Grails is called an action. So within the transformation controller, um, if you look at my URL, uh, it's my name. And my so here's my core application. And transformation and this transformation, um, there's a mapping between the two of them. Um, I created an action here called get image, and if you see here, uh, it says um, the get image action maps to this um, action here. So I have this get image action, and I pass in a I pass in a whole bunch of parameters here. In Grails, there is um, a data binding mechanism where any parameters that you provide. Um, it's available as um, this mapping called params. So params URL is the URL of the original image that we passed in. So what this first lines do is they grab that URL that you passed in and it creates a byte array. It, and then it puts them into um, an image object that um, the Google App Engine API uses. So that's what this is doing here. It's taking this image and it's dumping them into an object called image that is used by the Google App Engine API. If you wanna find out more about that, uh, there's a very robust API reference that you can use here. So basically what we're doing is we're just <clears throat> grabbing this image and throwing them into this image array. Fair enough. So now that we have this image, we create this images service, which is um, what the app engine uses to transform the images. And then based on the parameters that we pass in, um, we just apply the different transforms. So, I mean, the code here is very self-explanatory. Um, if you wanna take a look at the API of this, the images service factory has a whole bunch of um, make methods that allows you to create transformations. And that's essentially what we're doing here. We're just 
kind of wrapping uh, all these transformations around. Um, <clears throat> now you can combine this in um, you can combine all these transformations using what's called a trans composite transform. So if you know exactly how you want to change your image, you can also create other actions to modify your images in that way. So in here, for example, um, params.horizontal equals true. Um, the way that that works is if I go to my image and I say, I want my original image to be just this, but I want to apply a horizontal transform, so horizontal equals true. It flips the image horizontally. Um, if I come in and I look at the code, it says, uh, well, that param horizontal exists. So uh, what we do is we grab the image service and we apply a transform that is uh, a horizontal flip. Now, if you go to the image service factory, you'll see kind of all the um, methods that are available. Using these methods that are available, we then just um, map them in here in the in the get image action. So we take the image, we apply a whole bunch of transformations. That's basically what we do here. And then at the end of it, we just uh, return it. Now in Grails, um, there is this response object that you can use. Uh, because the image service returns everything into PNGs, we just say um, this is a PNG and just return all the bytes of that image as a PNG and give me the image back. So that essentially is everything that we do in the back end. Now, that's it. Um, 